I, I actually bought bought a copy of this um, just after Christmas, I think. Now I found two copies, but the only problem is actually only problem. I say only problem. Um, it's got <laughs> it's got no nothing with it bar the game. Nothing with it. No manual. No art cards. And the case is actually in worse nick than my other one. It's got you know, some bleaching across the side and uh, the corners. The corners are worse. <clears throat> but the reason I got this is because um, my other version, I've now swapped it out. My other version, this is the old internal workings there. Sorry, that side. It's got a rip there, which basically compromises the integrity of the, that rip there. So I thought, brilliant, I can swap the internal workings. So now I've got. I've got the internal workings of my other one that aren't ripped and so they're not compromised. So um, I doubt anyone will want that because obviously it's pretty bashed and it's not got all the bits. So this I'll probably just um, trade this into CX because um, it's although they they're giving absolutely nothing for copies of ICO now. Five I get for that. That's because of the um, this uh, the. Um, the HD release, isn't it? Yeah. This next one is a is quite a nice find, although I can't actually play it. <laughs> I bought it in intending to buy the system to play it on, but they're really expensive. <laughs> it's Robo OS on the Mega CD. I bought this in a. Anybody knows Tunbridge Wells? Um, there's a road called Camden Road in Tunbridge Wells, and there's this tiny, tiny little collectible shop that sells retro video games. And uh, Star Wars toys. It's tiny, but I could spend hours in it. I've been in there before, I think I have mentioned it before. This is the first time I've ever bought anything. And uh, the guy had it in this, in this sort of display case, just right by the counter, and it was right at the bottom, just piled up. Yeah, it's not really organised, that's one of the reasons I like the shop. But um, I just said, Can I have a look at your Mega CD games? Because I saw the side, because I saw it, it said Robo Lest. And he took it out, and it was two quid. And um, he let me have a look at it, and I just opened it up, opened it up, and, uh, bleh, and it's all there, it's all there. And um, the only problem was it was two quid. He did, he, he was aware that the disc was scratched, and it was scratched <coughs> quite badly. But I have since been to taking it to Game Station and got it uh, repaired. And there was one particular scratch which hasn't come out fully, but it doesn't look like a scratch anymore. It just looks like a smudge. So it hasn't been. Hasn't been taken care of 100%. So this was two quid. I actually swapped out the case. I went I went to a charity shop and bought another double case for it. I bought I forgot what was it? It was um, Agatha Christie or something. <laughs> but um, before he sold it to me, he opened up the back and he saw this. What he thought was a demo disc in it. I I had not even looked in the back. And it's uh, the uh, it's that. Sorry, for fingers. It's the, um, the the classic arcade classic collection. We've got with Columns, Golden X, Revenge Shinobi, Super Monaco, Super Monaco Grand, Prix, Grand Prix, and Streets of Rage. So, and he thought he thought it was just a demo disc that came with the game, but obviously it's not. I didn't, I was, I didn't know either. But I felt felt quite sorry for him actually because he's a nice bloke, not your standard um, retro collector. He was sort of like middle aged, but um, he, he was talking about how he. He not tested the game because he did have a Mega CD, but it was up in his loft. So, so it's, it's if anyone knows Tunbridge Wells, it's in Camden Road. It's a brilliant little shop. So, yeah, um, I was going to buy a Mega CD. Like I said, I was going to buy a Mega CD to um, play it on. Without knowing how much Mega CDs go for, and on top of that, um, the one game, the one other game that I was interested on the Mega CD. That I know of, I know there, there probably are others. I'd, I, you know, I'd like was um, Shining Four CD, and that's that's sort of like about a hundred pound job. And I, can't, <laughs> I can't it justify an outlay of a hundred and forty quid just to play three games, two games, sorry. You know, so I'll probably have to unless I can find a, a dirt, dirt cheap Mega CD somewhere. I'll probably have to trade that. So if anybody wants it, just let me know. Just put the feelers out. I'm not going to part of it straight away. If anybody's desperate for it, um, let me know. Uh, warnings, I'm a bit of a bitch to trade with because um, uh, 
especially as regarding PS1 games, I, there's not much I, I want anymore. So, so yeah, let, just let me know if anybody wants. Uh, anybody wants would like that. Just let me know, and um, I'll keep you in mind. Um, more major purchases now. Um, I was up in I was up in the centre of London in uh, Oxford Street, and I went into H and V, and this is a game that I'd seen in elsewhere, but never been too bothered by, just for its reputation. Even though the series is one of my favourites, and I thought I'd go with this because they had brand new copies of uh, Final Fantasy XIII, the uh, limited collector's edition, which is which is obviously bollocks. It's not limited, and it's not uh, you know you could call it collector's edition, but it's not limited, is it? Limited to how many? One million? Pardon me, sorry. No, I'd seen this around in other places, and it'd been in um. It'd been uh, in the pre-owned sections and stuff like that, and um, I'd not uh, not bothered with it because it was a bit bashed around. But then I went into HMV on Oxford Street, and they had a whole load in the pre-owned section. They're all they all still had their seal on, so they're all brand brand new, just sold as pre-owned. This was fourteen ninety eight, and I thought um, I would like the game. But I would like the game, but um, it's, it's going to be quite difficult to get hold of, uh, without paying brand new prices, to get hold of a pre-owned one for a decent price, because it's not worth that much. But, you know, it'd be quite difficult, sorry, I'm getting confused. It'd be quite difficult to get uh, a pre-owned one in decent nick, that's what I meant to say. So I just took the opportunity, picked out the best one I could, I thought it was pristine, and I got it home, and it's got... It's got a dent that runs along there. Just trying to <laughs> and it's a tiny, tiny little dent. It's a tiny, tiny little dent. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. There, runs along the bottom. If I'd seen, if I'd seen a game in the, like this in um in sort of a pre-owned section in Game Station, something, I'd be, I would have jumped on that. But the fact is, that I thought it was pristine. It's just, <laughs> just a bit, oh, you know. Anyway. I just can't forget it. I'm going to have to accept it, but anyway. Um, another major purchase. Uh, I've finally gotten around to getting one of these bad boys. Hey, uh, it's a DS Lite. Yeah, I know I could have, you know, I'm way behind the times. Everybody's getting their PS Vitas and I'm getting my DS Lite. But if I'm honest, I've used, I've used this a lot more than I've used my 360 since I've had it. I've been playing some uh, GBA games and I've been playing got, um, Fire Emblem. I went into, I got this for forty nine ninety nine in game. I just went in, saw that it was that price, asked them if they had a box copy, and the girl went away and she and she just she said oh, it depends how they come in. She came back and she had this really nice pristine box copy. I've got the box here. It's got all its all its bits, all its internal workings and stuff, and it's in really nice nick. So I thought. I'm not going to see, I'm not going to see um, one in similar nick anytime soon. So I jumped on it for the second time. Um, so I've been going around buying up uh, uh, DS Lite games, DS games, uh, for a mixture of places, mixture of sources. Um, I'm going to start first. There we go. I'll start with these first. Four games, all four games, all purchased with um, CEX um, credit. Another, another, um, another treasure game. Bleach, uh, Blade of Fate. There you go. Treasure. I'm back. It's supposed to be really good. Um, recommended by the old Game Central lot on Teletext. Uh, also recommended by the old Game Central lot on Teletext. Both, both uh, Advance Wars games. I've been desperate to play these. Particularly on the GBA, but um, the GBA one's a bit more difficult to get hold of because these are pretty common, especially uh, especially this one. But I know for full well that I'm going to like them because they're exactly my sort of game. And um, a game that's more difficult to get hold of and slightly more expensive. Actually, that wasn't that was obviously that wasn't a, that wasn't in a that was in CX. That was obviously 4.99 from <laughs> Blockbuster. That was CX. So with Bleach. This was CX, CX credit, so I didn't pay that much. It was actually 16 quid. So that price is wrong. It was 16 quid. So if the world ends with you, very, very nice game. I recommend this to anyone. Go out there and nab it. It's uh, an RPG, pretty much 
it's, a, it's quite an action orientated RPG, not strictly action RPG, but by the, by the same people who did um, um, uh, Kingdom Hearts. Very, very, very good game. Track it down. And um, in one go, I, I, in game, I went a bit mental, splurred slightly, without intending to. I saw. I don't know if you've seen those Actually, no, wrong one. Oh, I'll get that one to go there. <laughs> Castlevania Order of Ecclesia. Um, Golden Sun Dark Dawn. And the one game that I, that I particularly wanted, that sort of basically forced me to go with it, was um, Chrono Trigger. Never had an opportunity to play this, not having um, a US SNES or anything. And I just, that's one of the reasons why I got the DS in the first place. Obviously, the DS like for the backwards compatibility. So they were all in, um, they were all 12.99 in a three for two. And um, so it's worked out about, it's obviously 26, sorry, 25.98. 25.98 for those, those three, uh, yeah. Pretty good. For, I'm going to try and keep this below 30 minutes, so I'll definitely quick. Um, back onto PS1. Uh, this was in Game Station in 49p MDK, recommended by um, A. Murphy. I saw his gameplay video a while back and it looked really good. By Shiny uh, from uh, Earthworm Jim fame. Um, next, uh, an Amazon purchase, a really strange. Um, US made Japanese style RPG and it shows <laughs> Shadow Madness it's it's a very very poor man's Final Fantasy 7 which makes it worth playing you know anyway it's got very nice script and very nice music the storyline is really good and it creates a nice atmosphere but it's a bit rough around the edges it's a bit of a dog and the, the combat's a bit like laboured but it'll be worth trying out but I paid I paid one forty-five plus two pound three postage for that. So um, if you see it around for peanuts, give it a go. I've not tried it yet, so I couldn't give you a um, an independent on a you know um, what's the word objective review, subjective review, opinion. But anyway, um, an eBay purchase, and I'm so chuffed to finally have this. This is one. This is right at the top of my list. Anyone know XCOM? Whee! Um, I can now do my uh, my XCOM game, gameplay videos. Um, you know, because I, I really balls it up last time. Really screwed it up because I kept resurrecting people, versions of all the YouTube people that I'd in, sort of named my soldiers as. <laughs> I think it was Blue Tonic had three iterations, which makes the whole process irrelevant. So what's the point in following your following your little on-screen avatar? It's not. It's just worth pointless, isn't it? Makes the makes renders the whole uh, the whole the whole process irrelevant. Moot. This is seventeen forty four on auction um, plus two pound postage, and I got a box. It came in a box. What a brilliant box! It's obviously like a watch box or something, but it's the first box I've ever had from an eBay purchase. And it's gonna have to keep on and reuse that box. I was so chuffed to get the box. And I just left the guy's feedback and he sent me a message last night to tell me he's got loads of other really, really rare um, PS1 games, if I'm interested, outside eBay. And a purchase, this is the best purchase um, of the month, um, from, uh, this is basically like bloody hell, uh, on the uh, Cash Generator website. I saw it, didn't think, didn't think about buying it, just went straight away. And um, only afterwards, I actually paid the money. I realised I didn't really know what I was getting. <laughs> and it turned up, and it was all right. Tron Bond, Mrs. Ventures of Tron Bond. Um, this this cost uh, ten pound plus ninety nine no nine ninety nine plus one pound postage, so ten ninety nine altogether. This is about thirty five pound plus game on eBay, and a game that is way up on my list. And I'm really chuffed to have it. It's uh, like an ex. It's um, sorry, uh, Mega Man Legends spin-off. She's a character in Mega Man Legends, but just coming up to f half an hour. This is going to be split down the middle into two 15-minute lots. So I'm going to have to cut it off here before I, you know, 
before I go over. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Look out for other videos soon. See you later.